Okay, so I decided to just take an old Chevy or General Motors radio, I don't even know what this was for, and uh, make it into a little Bluetooth deal. So I went on Amazon and I bought this little Bluetooth adapter deal. Um, I'll put a, a link in the description or part number or something to, to search anyway. This thing cost me like, I don't know, $11 Canadian. So like probably six, seven bucks US. Um, and this is all you need. So what I did was I took my uh my volume and my tuning button and i swapped them i reversed them and the reason is this this is the tuning knob and this is the volume button so when i get in my vehicle what i'd like to do is use the volume button to adjust the volume for my bluetooth right makes sense that's what everyone's going to reach for including myself I'm not reaching for that so i switched it over to this side and now I'm going to get this guy in there. What I'll need to do is make some room. So I'll probably lop this off, make some room in there for this guy to sit in there like that, attached to this. And then I need to do a little bit of wiring. So here's how the wiring lays out. This is super simple. Do not be intimidated by this at all. Um, the beauty of this is this works, I don't know, I think it's like five, uh, five volts to 24 volts or something like that. Don't quote me on that. Might have to, I might, I'll put it up here what it is anyway. Um, but this is how simple the wiring is. So this is negative. That's going to be our ground. This is positive. Okay. And then over here, these four, that's going to be my right speaker. That's going to be my left speaker, hard stop. That's it. Right speaker, left speaker, positive and ground. That's it. End of story. Now, all we need to do beyond that is uh, hook this to the tuning knob. In fact, if I didn't want to hook that to my tuning knob, I could just drill a hole in my dash somewhere, even like, inconspicuous underneath, and I can just turn it on and off just like this. I don't really need to go through all the, the headache of making this work with a radio if I don't want to. And then this is going to automatically connect to my to my phone or whatever Bluetooth device I'm using. Um, typically, we're just going to be using our phones, right? Um, this will automatically connect. And if you got it in, in here, hey, it looks neat. Uh, easy to control. If you want to keep it discreet, you can just throw this in the dash somewhere under the seat, wherever you want. You can put this on the seat in the front. No one will ever see it. And then, you know, hide your speakers wherever you want. Um, I'm going to go ahead and put this on. And I'll show you what my plan is for securing this and also for how I'm going to make it work between these two here. Um, I'm just going to lock this off here and then I'm going to lop this part here off and make some room and then I'll go ahead and install that. Okay, so I got it all wired up here. Um, like we talked about ground positive, then two speaker wires and that's it. What I ended up doing in here was I just took a little piece of hose and uh, forced it on the end of the, you know, for the, for the knob. And then I also forced it on here so that when I turn this, it turns turns both right so now what I'll do is I'll just get myself a piece of rubber or something I want to isolate this from here and then I'll also secure it with some hot glue just so it doesn't go anywhere and I'll get that done and then I can go ahead and just start uh, piecing her back together and we should have a, a complete and running Bluetooth here we'll try it out right quick okay so let me show you what I got um, Still looks factory from the outside. Um, here in the back, the wiring coming out the back here. We got our positive, which I got fused. That's just what I like to do. And then a ground. And then our two speaker wires here. So let's go ahead and uh, let's get this hooked up to a battery and a speaker. Okay, so 
you can see I got it here named Bluetooth radio uh, not connected and that's because I don't have the power hooked up so let's say I got in, in the truck I started the truck up it's not turned on um, but you'll see here Yep, <laughs> you'll see here um, it should connect and it did it says connected even though it's not turned on yet so I'll go ahead and turn it on turn it on and uh, let me go into my thing here and we'll just start playing something sure let's play this guy here <laughs> So it works just fine. I don't know the output on these things, um, but if, I'll leave a link in the, the description or maybe just a name of it or whatever, and you can go find your own. That's going to do it for this one. Uh, if you hung around this long, I'd like to thank you for hanging out. Think about subscribing. We'll catch you on the next one.